Hello Internet, Internet. Big Dave is here, and I am cheap. Sure. Hello Internet, it's Big Dave here, and I'd like to welcome you back to my 2013 Year in Review. I had a really odd 2013, so I am presenting you an odd set of awards in lieu of a standard top 10 list. Frankly, I don't know if I even played 10 games to completion this year at all. As always, when we humans rank things, we use our own subjective perspective to do so, and that might not line up with your particular thoughts or feelings. So if you're not seeing your favorite this or that on my lists, well, probably I didn't play it, or maybe I just hated it. With that out of the way, let's go ahead and get to the award. The YouTube Content ID Best Music of the Year. Haha, <laughs> funny award name, right? But in all seriousness, this video very likely will get a content ID match, but I don't monetize my videos, and I think these things are worth promoting, so I really don't care. So when I was deciding on this award, I actually thought about how the music relates to the game itself. I didn't want to just pick music that was good, I wanted to pick music that enhanced its game, because that's what a game soundtrack really is for. Yes, it should be good music, it should be able to stand on its own, but it also really needs to contribute to the overall feel of the game. And to that end, I've selected three soundtracks that I believe enhance their games in very special ways and stand on their own as just plain great songs. First up, let me spotlight Rogue Legacy. Now while I'm a fan of the whole album, one track in particular stands out. It sets the mood for the game, and us novice players have probably heard it more than any other song. This is Trilobite, which is the castle theme. It was composed by A Shell in the Pit, aka Gordon McLadry, and it's just one of the many reasons that the Rogue Legacy soundtrack was one of my favorite in 2013. Up next, I want to spotlight Colum Bowen's amazing work on the soundtrack for Super Ubi Land. This soundtrack really embodies the essence of this game. More so than any other soundtrack that I played for any other game this year, this feels like it belongs. It's as if someone figured out a way to take the visuals, feed them into some complex computer, and have what they would sound like come out the other end. But in truth, that complex computer is just the wonderful brain of Colum Bowen, and he has once again hit another home run with the soundtrack for Super Ubiland. To give you an idea what this soundtrack is all about, I'm going to play for you the boss battle theme. This song is so urgent and so hyped up, it really, really made the boss battles feel quite a lot of fun. It really worked, and it's a really good song on its own. Boss battle. If the soundtrack for Super Ubi Land was a perfect musical interpretation of the game's visual style, then the soundtrack for Gunpoint was a perfect musical interpretation of a game's overall vibe. The jazzy feel of this soundtrack put me exactly where I needed to be. I felt like a super spy. With these tracks backing up every possible jump and crazy gadget that I would deploy, it really made the game feel complete. And that's one of the reasons that it's here on this list. Another thing I'd like to highlight is the fact that many of the songs have a different version when you enter the game's cross-link mode. It's sort of like a slightly detuned version or a different pitch, and that was a really, really nice touch. Even though the Gunpoint soundtrack features a trio of composers, I've only got a moment, so I'm only going to be able to highlight the work of one of them, and that is John Robert Matz for his great track, Electric Fedora. I love the driving stand-up bass, and when the horns kick in, Everything changes. An absolutely great track from top to bottom, and while I couldn't tell you where it's featured in the game, I can tell you that it's been featured in heavy rotation on my MP3 device.
There you have it, folks, a selection of tracks from my favorite soundtracks of 2013. If you'd like to tell me about your favorite soundtracks from 2013, please do so in the comments below. Otherwise, hang out here for more year in review silliness. I have been Big Dave, and until next time, take it easy.